Hi there, welcome to Home Schooling with Hera. Hope everyone is doing great. In today's video, we shall see what is Jolly Phonics. You may have heard this word so many times, you may have seen so many posts about Jolly Phonics and the courses that are being taught by the certified Jolly trainers. And nowadays, in so many schools and kindergartens, the Jolly Phonics scheme is being followed. So today's video will give you a short introduction about Jolly Phonics. What is this? What does it mean and how it's been taught? So watch the video till the end and if you like it at any point or you think it's useful, so please give a thumbs up. Come on, let's begin it. Jolly Phonics is a multi-sensory technique to teach children phonics. The first thing to know is what are phonics. Most of you may know this. Phonics are the sounds of letters. As English language has 26 letters, so we have the sounds for all those letters as well as some other sounds that are made by combining two letters, two consonants or two vowels. So in total, there are 44 sounds that are made by 26 English letters. So to teach those 44 sounds of English letters, Jolly Phonic Technique is used. Jolly Learning & Co is actually a publishing house in the UK and they have designed this course. That's why this course is called Jolly Phonics and even the CEO of the company is named Chris Jolly. So this Jolly has come from his name and you can either relate it to the course because the course is taught in a jolly way, in a fun way. Okay, I have told you about phonics. Another word that needs explanation is multisensory. What does multisensory mean? Why Jolly Phonic is a multisensory technique? Multisensory means anything in which your senses are involved. Not only one, but more than one senses are involved. So in Jolly Phonics, we engage the three senses of the kids. The visual sense means the sense of sight. Auditory sense means the sense of hearing. And tactile sense means the sense of touch. How visual sense is used to make the child memorize and learn the phonic sounds? It is by showing the pictures of the things and it is by showing some colorful stories. Let me show you. This is the storybook, okay? You can see this picture. That's how you have the pictures in it with each letter sound and you can tell the story to the child related to the sound. And if you have this book, it's a, a talking pen book, so you can click over here with your pen and the book will read the story by itself. Look at these. These are the pictures of the stories related to each sound and you can make your own story, okay? The second sense which is involved in learning, that's auditory sense. It's simply because the children are hearing the teachers saying the sound, telling their story and singing the song as well. So we have a story and a song as well in Jolly Phonics scheme related to each phonics sound, okay? Then there comes the tactile sense, telling the sense of touch. How does it work? Because in Jolly Phonics, with each letter sound, we have an action associated. Like for the sound of S, that's, we have this action. As if the snake is creeping in the grass, okay? And along with that, for the tactile sense, we also give a physical activity to the children to memorize the shape of the letter and to keep their interest in learning as well. Let me show you some artworks for this physical activity. So you can make the children do some artwork like this, okay, or like this with the tissue paper. You just need to give them a written letter that is hollow from inside and ask them to fill it with the proper letter formation, okay. Or you can give some coloring like this. Just dip the cotton bud in color and then fill it, okay? but in the correct motion. Go down, come up, round and down like this, okay? Do not allow them to color it anyway, no. Something else like this. Or this, okay? You can also use Play-Doh. You can also use a collage. Just, just ask them to tear some paper and fill in the letter. 
okay so these tactile activities help the children remember the shape of the letter as well as the sound okay the second point which i want to mention is that in jolly phonics the letters are not in order or in sequence and are divided into six phases or groups what does this mean let's see this book we have six phases in jolly phonics okay the first phase has these six letters at ep, n. the other has seven letters but six sound because c and k have same sound the next phase consists of g o u l f b then we have a j o i e or z w n and two sounds of double o that is o o okay the short and the long one then we have these six and the remaining six are here so in total these are 44 sounds that we teach children in the foundation years now the question is this why they are not in sequence because our main aim for teaching sound to kids is to make him able to read if you give the letters in sequence like a b c so how many words can you make with these three letters maybe cab only one word cab but if you give the jolly phonic sequence that is s a t so you can start immediate reading by making the first word at then sat okay and if you give these six letter to the children that are the part of the first phase can you imagine how many words they can make with this they can read lots of words. If you want to see the video on this, I'm giving the link up there and in the description box, you can watch it. So that was a short introduction about Jolly Phonics. If you have liked the video, please hit the like button. I'm sharing the links in the description box of all my videos that I made on Jolly Phonics. You can watch them. If you want to ask any question, I would love to answer it. Please do comment in the comment box. And if you want me to tell you the steps of Jolly Phonics, how do we introduce a new sound? So just write in the comment box and I will also tell you the steps for how to introduce a new sound with the story, song, action, letter formation, all this in a proper sequence. That's all for today's video. Take care and bye for now. Bye.